Okay, so in the last uh, video we left you um, with basically this, just showing you how to do, I'll find the mouse wherever it's gone, um, a simple select statement, introduce, introduce you to how to um, instantiate a PDO object, which arguments um, it needs to have, and also then how to iterate through um, a query. Okay, now like I said in the last one, all well and good, but let's show you how to kind of do it a little bit better. Now, the question which you may be asking is, is what I said, is that the PDO um, query, or the, the query from query method from PDO uh, returns a PDO statement. Now, the question which you ask is, well, how can it be in a for each statement? Well, that's the clever little thing about it, is that it can iterate through as an array. Now, what happens if we use the return value of this statement okay so we'll just call this uh, statement for example because it's returning a PDO statement and then we just pr print out the um, the statement itself we come back to here again and we'll refresh this as you can see here it comes back as a PDO statement all right and you've got um, one of the um, the parameter one of the the properties is query string and shows you exactly what you're um, requesting, you're querying from the database. So you have to remember if you're going to use the query method um, as an iterator then it's got to be within a for each loop. If you want to then have a statement return from it then obviously you need to proceed using the statements as a PDO statement. Now, so how do we do this? All right. Well let's not use the query first of all because there's another um, better way I find to use it which is then the prepare. Prepare as such just uh, initiates um, the query string okay so let's just say once again select everything from users where and we'll say name equals and we're just going to put like a colon and we're going to say in, ca in with a capital N if I can even get the capital N there equals name <coughs> excuse me um, so all we're saying now is select everything from users where name is equal to some form of variable here, okay, which we're going to use in a minute. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to tell um, the PDO statement what's going to go inside of that one variable when it actually fires the query. So what we're going to use is we're going to use bind parameter for now. All right. Now I find this the best and simple way. So what we need to do is we need to actually copy exactly what it's going to match using a regular expressions. So we type in here name. Now this um, second argument is passed by reference therefore we can't just write in um, the information here it actually has to come from um, a predefined variable. Now for this we're going to then um, put David in here if you've been looking at the database it's not going to return anything at all so we're going to say David Thorne because one of the um, rows was David Thorne therefore if we just put David in that wouldn't be equal to it okay because we're not using a like statement so now that we've we've binded this one parameter to it we can go ahead and continue to do the query so now what we can say is SMT executes Right, so we'll just check to make sure that all of uh, it's syntactically correct. And from this one point on, we want to fetch all of the rows. Now, we're kind of wanting to know whether we, co we collect more than one. You know, there might be a person there with the same name, whatever. So let's just say um, rows, for example. And we then say SM, uh, SMT, which is the PDO statement. I'm going to say fetch all. Okay, nice, simple. It's going to loop through and fetch all of them and it will return for us um, an array of arrays. Okay, So let's just print this out nice and simply and come back to here once again and give it a refresh. As you can see we just got one person. That's it. All right. So now um, let's just so we can get some more uh, where uh, user ID is more than user ID yeah so let's come in here and say user ID and we'll change 
this up here to user ID equals zero. All right. So we're just going for the primary key now, and we're basically getting everything just to show you. And if you're happy with that, we come back to here and refresh. Now you see it just grabs the whole lot. So it means that we could still use the standard way um, of doing this and just go in here, sorry, more than and let's just get rid of this binding because it won't be able to find it. So that this is just a native way of doing it now. It is nothing changed from how you did your MySQL queries before. So let's just refresh this and as you can see we still get exactly the same thing. But this opens it up for SQL injection. Using the bind parameter with inside of this function, this method call, um, there all of the, the, the naughty SQL injection is going to get removed. Okay, It's only going to accept legal um, information that's going to go between there. Also, um, the types. Now, if you were obviously then um, matching a string, um, let's say name, you would then have to use the correct syntax here with um, the, the single colon, uh, single uh, apostrophes and so on. So you'd have to put the correct information in there. Now, using the bind statement, you don't have to worry about that. You just got to make sure that the syntax is correct and then you put the variable there and then bind parameter will do the rest for you. Now, there is also um, a third argument to this to tell it um, what type as well. But to be quite honest with you, as long as you've done all of your coding correctly and you've checked for the correct type before inserting or updating any, any table row, um, then there's actually no need. So it's kind of it's kind of redundant because you should be doing the checks in the first place anyway. Um, so that's the next um, way of doing it. It's just an introduction so far and we're going to keep going through. I want to try and keep these video tutorials very, very short. All right. So that's now an introduction to the prepare statement and the bind parameter, the execute and fetch all. Right. In the next tutorial, we'll go a little bit deeper into using these okay and we'll talk about them uh, a lot further all right so there's the intro now to pdo prepare bind parameter execute and fetch all right and if you didn't know print r <coughs> then print r as well okay my name is david thorne thank you for watching this um like subscribe do all of these normal things um, and i'll see you in the next video where we'll um, elaborate even further on some of the methods okay thank you for watching bye